So when I started finding out that my neighbor was breaking into my house, I thought it was just her alone. And it ended up being her and her daughter, her husband, her son, her friends. They were all robbing me little by little. Some of the neighbors uh, around around me, like mm. they were breaking it, actually coming into my house by robbing our keys, by making friendships with my kids and then stealing their keys and saying, oh, I need to go to your car. Like they'll be in a party, you know, a barbecue or something. And they say, I need to use your car. Can I go to the bar and get something? Or can I go to the store and get something? And they would use my daughter's keys. And my daughter wouldn't take the key off of the keychain from the house. Then she'll turn around. And they'll borrow the car. And they'll go and make a copy of the key. And then come back. And then, you know, have a copy of the key to the house. And she wouldn't notice. Or he wouldn't notice. And I'm like... How is she going to give them her key to her house? And then they will get in like that. And I'm like, these are her friends. These are people that she, re, you know, she bring to my house. They eat here. They drink here. They share food. Mm. And they're friends. You know, you trusted them. Little girls that come over and spend time here. Then they, you can't trust no one anymore. It's just scary. You know, they'll rob you. And and I used to notice that, you know, they didn't care. I mean, how are you going to come to your friend's house and, and rob their house? And then say, I'm your friend. You're, you're my best friend. You're just a thief. I mean, I had a friend who came over and said, oh, my God, they broke into my house. I said, how did they break into your house? She said, well... There was nothing missing. They came in, but the TV's there, and my stuff is there. I don't know what they took. But after a little while, I noticed that the person that was coming into her house wasn't robbing big mm. things. They were robbing dresses and pants and shoes here and there, driving, robbing stuff, you know, that they wanted. You know, they went there to rob clothes. You know, and I'm like, she didn't notice because she had a lot of clothes in her room. She had all the stuff thrown around. So she didn't notice that they were robbing her because they had her possessed. You know, so I'm like, oh, my God. How many times they broke in? Like two or three times that she noticed. You know, so the last time they broke the door. Because they couldn't get in. The dude got, but the dude got mad and broke the door. They were robbing clothes for their girlfriends. Understand? Because these girls, some of these ladies send their boyfriends to rob houses too. And it's like, these people don't work. These people are on SSI, you know? And they rob people's houses for a living. They made that a living. They take groceries. Check it out. They take toys, groceries, clothes. They try to be very careful what they take so you won't notice that they're robbing you. You think is you lost a shirt or you lost the dresses or mm. you didn't notice it was missing. They take towels, curtains, jewelry, costume jewelry, perfume. They don't take the whole they don't take the whole jewelry box. They just take two or three so you won't notice. Understand?